Yes, sir. This is your boy Vegas Big Mind back again to give you guys a free prediction play coming at you December 27th, 2019. Guys, let's get to the money today. Yes, sir. Happy Friday to you all. Hope everybody's having a wonderful Friday today, right? And I hope I was able to make you guys some sweet, sweet money yesterday, all right? In my video yesterday, gave out four plays. Went three and one on all my plays, right? Plus an addition three and zero oh on the word on the street. All right, guys. So all around the video was a great success yesterday. I hope I was able to make you guys some sweet, sweet money. I'm gonna touch more base on the video in my upcoming video later, right? Where I break down multiple games and give you guys some more winners, right? So let's get to the smart today, guys. Let me see if I can put some more early money in you guys' pocket for this bowl game, all right? So let's get right into it, man. This is the military bowl, right? Tar Heels, North Carolina Tar Heels are taking on the Temple Owls today, all right? 12 noon Eastern time, guys. So if you guys can catch this game, put this video a little bit earlier so you guys will be to be able to catch this game. All right, guys, let's get to this money, man. Got a couple of little stats I want to share with you guys. This should get you guys rolling and get you guys going. All right, guys, this is the first ever time that Temple Owls are taking on North Carolina. All right, these guys have never played each other in history. All right, school history. All right, North Carolina right now, season record six and six. Temple eight and four. All right, guys. So Temple right now they do got a better record and they do look better on paper, right? Tar Heels, remember guys, they gave Clemson number three, right? Number three ranked Clemson now. Their toughest challenge this year. I mean, if you guys went back or remember, well, I mean, I went back and watched the game, right? Tar Heels was leading. Clemson the whole entire game. <laughs> this was a pretty interesting game, man. But it could have been a little bit mixture of both. You know, Tar Heels playing their best football, which I think is pretty good football, and Clemson sleeping on the Tar Heels. So it could have definitely been a little bit mixture of both. But we're gonna see what happens today. As I do think, like I said before, Tar Heels best football is pretty good football, right? So now. Temple, on the other hand, right, these guys are going to bowl games, man. This is actually their fifth consecutive year going to a bowl game, right? Like, they're, they're, they're winning, and, and, and they, they know how to win for sure, man. They know how to win. Uh, Temple senior class, right, is the third winningest group in program's history. Like, this senior class been winning together since day one with 33 victories, all right? 16 players are going to suit up for the last final game for Temple, right? So 16 seniors, man, want to go out with a bang for this Temple class for sure, man. So this is going to be a pretty interesting and fun game, all right? Now, North Carolina relies heavily on their freshman quarterback, Sam Howell. This guy is a great quarterback. He's only a freshman, only a freshman, so he's still learning, all right? This guy might be a Heisman candidate. In the next two years, maybe next year, you never know. All right, so look out for this guy next year, man. Right, this guy set several season single records this year, man. I'm talking about the rookie of the year in Atlantic Coastal Conference, right, guys? This guy threw for 35 touchdowns, seven interceptions, 3,000. 347 passing yards, right? This is leading ACC all records. This guy has that record right now as a freshman, guys. I'm telling you, this guy is very special, right? Now, Temple, on the other hand, they got a pretty good defense, man. Really good defense. They ended the regular season ranked third nationally, nationally in red zone, like in red zone efficiency. These guys are playing balls out and they're not letting you know, opponents score on them in a red zone. I mean, shoot, kick a field goal, go ahead, be my guest, but you're not scoring a touchdown. So these guys should be able to, you know, compete and contend with Temple's, I mean, not Temple's, North Carolina's offense. All right, guys? So this is going to be a pretty good game for sure, man. Early game, usually the best game, I think, in my opinion, right? Now, Temple quarterback, right, Anthony Russell, <clears throat> Russo, has thrown for 21 touchdowns, so a little bit less than Howell, right? But this is the 
twister right here. 11 interceptions on the year. Whew. 11 interceptions now. That's a lot of interceptions now. That's more like James Winston status. I'm just saying, right? <laughs> this guy <laughs> threw a lot of interceptions this year. But listen, this doesn't really matter, man, because Temple got a really good defense, so their defense should get their offense right back on the field is what I'm trying to say, right? Now, this is Temple's third military bowl, right? They lost to Wake Forest in 2016, right? So Temple does have experience being in a military bowl. Now, for North Carolina, this is North Carolina's first ever time being selected for a military bowl appearance, right? First ever time. I mean, they're not used to playing in a military bowl, but this year with their season record and, you know, how they've been playing, they're playing lesser competition is what I'm trying to say, right? They lost to Duke in the Independence Bowl last year. It is what it is, man. But, you know, North Carolina, they still got some talent, got a good quarterback. Defense is up and down. Temple's defense, we know where they stand at, right? Especially in the red zone, right? Temple's quarterback is not the best, right? But I'm going to give you guys two plays for this game, all right? First play, right? Take North Carolina Tar Heels as I think they're the better team. They're the better team. So take North Carolina Tar Heels minus the five and a half, five, six points. I got it at six last night. It went down to five and a half. I took it again. Went down to five earlier this morning. I took it again, right? But then now it's going back up. So I still like it at six. So I like North Carolina to put a beating on Temple. I mean, they, I mean, I think they just win by a touchdown, last minute touchdown or something like that. But this should be a pretty interesting game. And the over under is set at 53 and a half right now. Guys, I like this under. I like this under 53 and a half, guys. So if you guys tell these plays, man, for sure, good luck to us. All right. These plays. Are already in my back pocket so i'm gonna share this play these two plays with you guys man get you guys some money and then like i said be on the lookout for my later video where i will be breaking down more games right and give you guys more opportunities to get some money in your pockets all right guys for sure if you guys want our best bets of the day come check us out sgdwins.com where you can get yourself some money, $99 to get you guys a full month of our premium plays and we added an extra feature seven day access only for $39.99, guys. So let's go, man. Let's get to some shmoney. Yes, sir. All right. Let's get to the shmoney. Like I said, be on the lookout for my later video where I'll be breaking down some more games, guys. All right. Let's get to the shmoney. Yes, sir.